All right, guys, welcome to another cooking adventure. I'm Jeff. I'm pretty excited about this cook today. Y'all got a Traeger or pellet grill, you got to try it. All right, let's get out here and see what we got going on. Oh, yeah, we're getting ready to do some good old turkey loaf, y'all, on the Traeger. But it's important if you do two of them like I'm getting ready to do, is you get a pan this size right there almost 18 inches by 13.22 inches. It'll fit perfect in this Traeger right here, y'all. But I've got to clean the Traeger up first before we can do anything, because we're going to be cooking at a high temperature. So you got to make sure that grease is gone. All right, guys, y'all stick around. Don't forget to like, share, subscribe, and uh, let's get started. Two green bell peppers here. I got one onion. What we're gonna do is uh, I'm gonna slice up this. We're gonna do a half an onion in each loaf. All right, guys. Here we go. Here's a half an onion and one green bell pepper. We're gonna do three pounds. Good old honeysuckle. This is 85.15, y'all. Right. All right, guys, three pounds of meat. Now we're gonna add three eggs. Get all in there. Get in there and get dirty, y'all. All right, guys, now we're gonna add some uh, breadcrumbs, garlic and herb. There's two cups, y'all. All right, now we're gonna mix this up. All right, guys, I had to go get us a daggum bowl. I couldn't deal with that little thing no more. It's too little. All right, I just wanna show y'all that I did go get another bowl. I'm gonna finish mixing this once again. Get in there real good. All right, guys, we got some good old evaporated milk here. We're just gonna use half of it. This is a, we're just gonna put six ounces in there. Pack and a half of good old meatloaf mix. Cause we're doing three pounds, y'all. And I know there's a lot of recipes that uh, tell you all kinds of different uh, mixes on there, but this is how we're gonna do it. So y'all just remember what I put in there. I'll try to put it on the description below. If I can remember everything, surely I can. All right, let's get this mixed up. This will be turkey loaf number one, y'all. Oh yeah, guys, one, one more little important step here that I like to do. Let's take a little bit of ketchup and just squirt in there. All right. All right, guys, another thing. Make sure you spray your pan real good with the Pam olive oil. Just gonna show you that before I throw the meatloaf on there. All right, guys, let's get this loaf out of here. Put it right down in there. Let's 
That's all there is to it. All right, let me get that other one ready. We'll cover this one up till I get the other one. All right, guys, now we're going to make the glaze for the top of it. I'm going to put about a two teaspoons of brown sugar in there. About a half a cup of ketchup. About a half a cup of mustard. Smear it on there, y'all. All right, guys, we're gonna sprinkle just a little bit of this Cajun crawl on there. Not much. Just a little bit. All right. Let's get these bad boys on this trigger. She's sitting there. Oh, yeah. Right on 350, y'all. Y'all see that? Open her up. Look at this tree, y'all. Get that size I told you. Get you in there just perfect. All right. We're going to come back in one hour. She should be done. All right, guys. Y'all stick around. I think it's going to be pretty good. Uh, I know they really taste good. So, figure I'd share it on the Traeger with y'all be back in a few all right guys let's check it out here it's been exactly one hour oh yeah she's looking pretty good we get the old probe out here we'll check the temp i don't think she's quite ready yet though those are pretty big rolls so might have to go a little bit longer let me get my temp out and we'll check it 71 but we're not going to go by that so we're not going to waste any more time here actually what I'm going to do is I'm going to put this back down in there close the lid down alright we'll come back here in a little while y'all we'll watch this temperature gauge here and see what it does guys it's been exactly one hour and 33 minutes Woo. let's check the other one oh yeah we're looking for the ideal temp of 165 y'all well, we're good. Uh, everything seems to be probing out pretty good. But I'm going to let these uh, cook probably for about... Probably going to let them cook for about 10 more minutes. And the reason why is I think she's she is good to go right here I could pull them off but I want to get a little bit more bark 
on the outside here, so I'm gonna let it go. Actually, I'm gonna put the thermometer back in there. I think I'm gonna cook these guys to probably about uh, 180. All right, we'll get these off here in a second, y'all. Look how big them are. That's 85, 15. Turkey meat, y'all. I want to make sure, make sure those onions and, and all that stuff is, is nice and tender. I cut them a little bit chunky. Alright, I'll stick around. Get ready for the taste test. Alright guys, it's been exactly an hour and 50 minutes. Let's check on it. Uh, it takes a little bit longer in the Traeger. For one, you've got these holes right here that the heat escapes. And in an oven it don't. So anyway, we're we can see up here 174. Oh yeah, that look great. Alright, let's get these out. Let's carve one up. We'll let it rest for just a little while. Give about 15 minutes to rest and then uh, we'll carve into one. Alright guys, y'all stick around this long. Let's taste these turkey loaves let this rest about 15 minutes We've got the big carver out here i know this is a brisket carver but we're going to carve into these uh i'm gonna do a little bit off these uh turkey loaves here so uh let's get them upstairs all right guys here we go it's all been rested kind of lonesome dove tonight don't have no camera person to help me. Oh yeah, that look good. So we're just gonna take a little piece off right here. Take just a little bite off here. There we go. Mmm. Man. Guys, that's really good. Hey, stick to my recipe on this video. I'm telling you, that will serve several people. Six pounds of turkey meat, y'all. Hey, like and subscribe, and we'll catch you on the next video. This was really good.